Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to discuss the potential risks and benefits of intravenous high-dose vitamin C infusion for cancer treatment. This topic has gained considerable attention in recent years. I'm excited to delve into it with you. IV high-dose vitamin C therapy involves administering high concentration of vitamin C directly into the veins, aiming to enhance the body immune system and potentially support cancer treatment. Supporters of IV high-dose vitamin C therapy believe that when administered through intravenous infusion at high concentrations, it may exhibit anti-cancer effects. It is believed that vitamin C, by generating hydrogen peroxide, can selectively target and kill cancer cells while protecting healthy cells. Furthermore, vitamin C is an antioxidant that may help reduce inflammation and oxidative stress within the body. However, it is important to note that the effectiveness of IV high-dose vitamin C therapy in cancer treatment is still a topic of debate and ongoing research. Further scientific evidence is needed to establish its true efficacy and safety. If you are considering IV high-dose vitamin C therapy as a part of your cancer treatment, it is crucial to consult your healthcare provider, including your oncologist. They can provide personalized advice based on your specific cancer type, treatment plan, and overall health condition. They can also discuss the potential risks, benefits, and the limitations of this therapy. Additionally, it is essential to view IV high-dose vitamin therapy as a complementary treatment rather than a standalone cure for cancer. It should not replace conventional cancer treatments such as chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or targeted immune therapy. Instead, it may be considered as a potential supportive therapy that can be used in conjunction with standard cancer treatments. In summary, IV high-dose vitamin C therapy is a topic of ongoing research and a debate in the field of cancer treatment. While it holds potential as a complementary therapy, further scientific evidence is needed to determine its efficacy and safety. Individuals considering this therapy should engage in thorough and informed discussions with their healthcare providers to make wise treatment decisions. I hope today's video has provided you with valuable information. If you have any questions about this topic, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.